You know, one of the challenges we see today in the data center is how to merge all the different silos. It seems like we've started to add storage systems for almost every occasion, and that increases complexity and also increases costs. So joining me to help with that conversation, I've invited Gary Watson. He's the CTO and founder of Nexam. Gary, thanks for joining us today. Thanks for having me. So, you know, Gary, if you look at kind of the use cases that are creating these silos, we have all these different storage systems out there, right? We've got NAS, we've got Block, we've got Archive, we've got Data Protection, we've got now the kind of whole emerging mobility market. Uh, give us some examples of some of the use cases for these different systems. So NAS is, is your basic filers, you know, so file share. Um, we also have a lot of people who use uh, NAS, specifically NFS with VMware, because we're at the VMware show. Right. Uh, and then on Block, you have databases. So Oracle, Microsoft SQL, things like that. Sure, or, or even actually the VMware VMDKs. Okay. So you see that there too. So this is fiber channel iSCSI, and NAS is typically NFS or SMB. Okay, and then what about archive? What are, what are people doing there? So a couple different things. You can be archiving files for compliance reasons. F for example, to comply with uh, SEC 17 or with HIPAA or something. Right. Uh, but also archiving can be used for storage optimization where you're trying to take cold data off of your primary storage and put it away someplace for safekeeping. So almost this is like, I've got to do this, and this is what Best you really want to do that, right? Yeah. Absolutely. So let's talk a little bit about data protection. What are some of the use cases there? Well, data protection is a couple different things. You want to protect against threats like ransomware and viruses. Okay. Um, ransomware is big in the news. Where? Um, and also, there's a thing called, some people call it bit rot, or silent data corruption. Right. So that's where Hardware or for sometimes software will just glitch and you'll lose some data. So you want some kind of a mechanism to protect you against that. And, and that's kind of a worst case scenario too because that's something that you could lose data and not even know it happened, right? At least with ransomware, you know you can't get to your files, sure. right? Well, yeah, sure. And then silent data corruption can be important, especially for long periods of time. So if you're going right. to store something for 5, 10, 15 years, it starts to become very important. It ties into that archive bit a little bit, right? Sure. Uh, so then let's talk about mobility. You know, nobody works out of an office anymore. It seems like everybody works out of Everybody works at a Starbucks. So how do we handle that? So the challenge with mobility is you have, uh, first of all, you have the what we call uh, shadow IT. So shadow IT is where your employees, unbeknownst to you, go off and use a, a, a cloud service, and they're putting your data in a cloud that's out of control and out of your possession. Mm -hmm. So that's one aspect. The other aspect is if you want to bring it in-house, uh, it's kind of hard to make people fit into your Active Directory without setting up like a shadow Active Directory infrastructure. Right, so then that adds to complexity and, and, and resident on the part of the user as well. Right? Sure does. So, I, you know, if I look at this, what I've seen in the market is we've seen some unification here where we've got systems that are doing NAS and block systems, but all of this kind of gets left out. How, how do you guys address that? So we've developed a product called Unity. Unity includes NAS and SAN, uh, protocols. Okay. It also has uh, built-in mobility support for iOS, Android, Macs, and PCs, and web clients. So all your mobile workforce can access the files that are on the NAS, uh, integrated with your standard on-premise Active Directory. And then we have an option for an archive with long-term data protection technology. So this mobility part's kind of interesting. So because I, what I typically see is, you know, somebody has installed a NAS, and then they got to go out and buy a whole other system and copy data between the NAS and their mo mobility device. So you're saying you guys eliminate that problem? Yeah, and also we think it's important for the mobility piece to get data directly off of your NAS, so you're not copying it to a public cloud, right. and you just have one authoritative copy. But we also have a feature in our NAS implementation where we ca we call it in-way syncing, where we can synchronize your NAS files between different locations. Okay, and that's really important because so many uh, uh, companies nowadays have multiple offices around the around the country, right? Or Absolutely. World. Yeah. So this is all about collaboration and mobility. The, the dynamic way the workforce works today, you have people who, uh, they don't work in an office anymore, they're on the road, uh, they work from home, whatever. So let's talk uh, kind of the hot subject, uh, at least every other month it seems like, is ransomware. Sure. And you mentioned that, so I'm going to ask you, what do you guys do specifically to take care of ransomware? So what happens when you have our archive option is when you store files in the NAS, th it, based upon your policy, we grab a copy, put it in the archive, and attach a retention policy that cannot be overridden by 
anybody, including ransomware. Okay. So let's say you've set a 10-year retention policy on files. It doesn't permit the destruction or modification of that file. Okay, so they, if the, even if the product, uh, the ransomware product got into you guys, it wouldn't be allowed to change anything. That's anyways. right. It's a very, very strict compliance system. So Gary, my, one of my concerns here is that with all of this stuff, I feel like I'm going to give up performance. Do you guys still deliver good performance in this system? We have awesome performance. Uh, if you use spinning disk for storage, we have flash and RAM-based cache acceleration. Okay. If And we have configurations that can be all flash okay. for up to 500,000 IOPS, in fact. Uh, and we have configurations that are a mixture of flash and hard drives. Okay, so that's that's really incredible. You've got a, a single system that provides sort of the everything I'd expect in Unified plus archive all my data protection, protection against ransomware, and all the mobility features. Yes, the mobility is no extra cost as well. Wow, it's built that's in. awesome. All right, so before we leave, why don't you tell the folks a little bit about Nexan? So Nexan was founded by myself and someone else 18 years ago, and we've grown. We've been doing storage for all that time and we continue to develop new and interesting technologies like Unity uh, and we hope to have another 18 years behind us next time we talk. Sounds great.